What's up guys, really exciting day here. I'm testing out the Hockey Shot Revolution Synthetic Ice Tiles. These things are pretty sweet. You can skate, stop, do all the edge work stuff with them. So let's test these bad boys out. All right, so we're testing these out. First thing you want to know about synthetic ice tiles, I've skated on a lot of them, uh, is they are going to be a little bit grippier, okay? And you see the shavings already. You can kind of see the shavings uh, building up here. And that's just normal. That happens with all synthetic ice because we're not gripping ice and driving through ice. They are made of plastic, uh, and you're going to be scraping the plastic off. But they're very durable, and that's what kind of leads them to last very long and, and be able to skate like you would as close as you can on real ice without having real ice. So uh, in terms of the edge work, you're going to notice that you're going to spend a little bit more time on your stops and starts. So when you try and stop, it, you're going to slide a little bit more than you would on ice, no matter how much kind of uh, pressure down on these synthetic tiles you put. There is that little bit of just extra glide on the stops and you, you might feel if you're not comfortable with synthetic ice that you're skating in mud for the first time so it's not abnormal for people to kind of do that for the first time. Uh, you are a little bit slower, you're gripping a little bit more. It's not real ice, uh, it's as close as it can really get here but honestly these things are pretty good and you can really get going on them and you can trust your edges just like you would on real ice. You do all the same drills you normally would. And that's the real difference between skating on synthetic ice and rollerblade training. Uh, you guys know I love the Mars blade system, but you can't really do any uh, stopping, starting, and real edge work drills like this one where you skate like that. Use the stops and starts and really quick transition. All that stuff. So that's the difference between these and the rollerblade training. Uh, so we'll test it out with some drills, see how it performs, and uh, we'll have the full review done soon. The Hockey Shot Revolution tiles were really easy to get used to, and once I got a little bit warm, made the little adjustments I needed to, I could do all the moves I could naturally do on ice on these synthetic tiles. It's a pretty incredible feeling when you're on a big synthetic ice service and able to train in your t-shirt and shorts. Definitely a training environment I love. The anchor technique is a great example of how synthetic ice can be a huge benefit to your off-ice training. The edge work really does simulate being on the ice very well and gives you very good feedback to whether or not you're using the edges correctly. Another skill that demands solid edge work is the spinorama and I was honestly very surprised with how well I was able to perform this move on the synthetic. A move that involves a stop, a spin, to keep momentum and I didn't have to change my form one bit. Just imagine a kid trying this move and having the time of their lives while having fun at home. That's a huge reason why I'm a big fan of these off-ice development services. Also on the open hip mohawks, you were able to very easily open up the hips, but more importantly, you were able to activate the back foot and generate momentum through the moves. Now for many kids, this is a very tough skill and even tougher to do with the puck. So having a place off the ice where they can really nail down these little details is a big deal and can really help them learn the skill a whole lot faster. Going through the tight turns also perform well. Just be aware that you will need a little bit more momentum than normal because it's not as slippery as ice, but you can trust your edges just the same and use the same technique. Uh, it was great to learn the deceleration as well, the punch turn uh, to turn on a tighter radius. Perhaps what I love most about these training surfaces is the amount of quality repetitions you can do to elevate your game. So long as you're always focused on shooting quickly, deceptively, and accurately, you can turn yourself into a pretty dangerous scoring threat if you log in enough quality hours out here.
Now, team trainings are, of course, very necessary, but you're not going to get nearly as many opportunities to practice these individual skills and all these scoring options. In my experience, those who take it upon themselves to work hard on their craft away from their team trainings, be it on ice, synthetic, or off the ice, are the ones who are going to excel faster and master their craft. This doesn't mean you have to have synthetic ice, uh, but having an area in which you can fine-tune and master these skills is what's going to lead you to excel at the fastest rate possible. Now in terms of installation, I was not looking forward to putting them together at first. You look at 300 synthetic ice towels in a box and it's a little bit overbearing, but with the help of my friend, we did it in just under 10 minutes. You just need to lay them down and clip them together. We found that laying them all down side by side and then using the foot sliding across the seams was the fastest and easiest way. Also, the best part about the Revolution Synthetic Ice System compared to other puzzle piece systems I've used is you can't put them in the wrong way. Now, there is a, a bottom end and a top end, but in terms of which side to put in, you can't do it wrong, which is a huge deal. I've been so frustrated with other brands. You're constantly having to flip and readjust them, but there's no wrong way to put these in, and it is so easy to clip them together. In addition to getting the tiles, I highly recommend getting the smooth edging which is installed by simply clipping in from the top to create a ramp. Those who have used the dryland flooring tiles or synthetic ice tiles know how annoying it is to get one puck, let alone multiple pucks, from off the surface back onto the surface and the smooth edging changes all of that. It makes it seamless. You can stick handle off and on really easily or slide pucks and pass them over. Total game changer. I also recommend getting the puck stopper edging which is installed by clipping in from under the tiles. The puck stopper edging stops pucks from going over creating a small board like surface which holds up very well. And if the puck still goes over they created a ramp system on the other side which allows you to easily slide pucks back onto the surface. Even further you can even use this as a slide board surface if you have the boot covers. I just found this out so I didn't get to test it out yet but I definitely will. Uh, it's really important to me when I'm training because I'm absolutely uh, infuriated when I waste time collecting pucks. Anything that makes it easier leads me to get more quality reps in and have a more positive relationship with going out and training myself. So the first thing I've noticed with these and kind of with all synthetic ice towels is how it, every movement is a little bit harder. You have to work a little bit harder. You can trust your edges on it, uh, no doubt, but uh, the workload definitely increases. So, you know, coming out of a turn, doing a crossover, it's not as uh, easy to build up speed, not as easy to get that push off. Uh, we talked about earlier the stops and starts a little bit more slide on those uh, and the pucks are, are pretty good on these again they're not going to slide exactly like they would on ice uh, but a lot better than uh, dry land floor tiles uh, and stuff like that uh, slides pretty well i actually find it performs better uh, when i don't use tape on the bottom or sometimes uh, we actually use tape there there and use an exacto knife and just make sure this part is flat i find helps a lot with synthetic ice uh, services uh, but other than that, very, very impressed with this stuff, how easy it was to put together, how quick it was, and these board systems, man, like just keeping the pucks in play, being able to easily put a bunch of pucks from here to there, or when you're stick handling and you, you make a mistake, the 
puck doesn't go off and you don't have to go out there because obviously, you know, with synthetic ice, if you lose the if you lost the puck and it goes out there, you're you're done, right? You can't you have to put your skate guards on, go get it. So these bumper systems are absolutely genius. What I can tell you right now is that it feels great just like transitioning, going from forwards to backwards. I really do feel very comfortable on my edges here. Right? Again, you, at the start, you, you have to get used to it. You know, you're struggling. You've never been on synthetic. You're going to do these a little bit, but sooner or later, you're going to realize how much work you got to put into it, and you're going to be able to make that transition very easily. Okay? Now, for me, I used to be on these synthetic ice tails. I'm not sure where they're from, but skating was super difficult on them, uh, and I really didn't do much skating with my clients when I trained them on it. I would definitely do a little bit of skating on this. Now, synthetic is mainly for a little bit of skating. You want to add stopping and edge work into it. Long distance skating and stuff like that. Uh, not too much, especially since you're going to have to get a lot of sheets. But these little little drills like the spinorama, learning that, I mean, you can learn the proper edge work with that. You know, doing the mohawk turns, protecting the puck, little one-on-one -on -one battles, as well as playing against the buddy. Do those one on one battles and really use my edges, right? That's a huge deal, and everything feels really good. I feel very comfortable on these tiles for sure. So, here's a bit of the genius behind this product. They got a honeycomb shape uh, pattern underneath. So what that's going to do is it's going to make it lighter, easy to transport, but it's also going to make sure it doesn't cave in on impact. So, it's nice and durable, but it's also nice and light. All right, so here's an example I would do uh, of a drill on these synthetic ice tiles. So, combining shooting, uh, passing, receiving, as well as skating. Great for these small area uh, drills here. So, we have a passer there. You could also have a, a partner with you. Making that pass. Take the shot, come right back, quick stop, pass, repeat, good shot. So here's a drill you can do on the open ice. Work on your pullbacks and shots. So skating on in, fake shot, pull back, take the shot. We can do one where we pull it directly back and add a toe drag into it. So you pull it right back, toe drag that puck in. We can also do the same thing where we pull it back and then we drag it between the legs. So take it off, pull back, drag it between. And these are such fun drills to do. Kids, when they're training on the uh, off-ice surfaces like this, they're just having fun. They don't realize they're training. The hours add up, uh, and they're always really focused because they're enjoying themselves. That's why I love the uh, synthetic ice tile system. All right, well, these things are pretty sweet, so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below, hockeyshot.com, where you can check these guys out. You don't have to have this big of an area, even if you only have from here to here to here. You can do a lot of drills in these little spaces and being able to be on your skates, working on your edges, keeping the head up, making sure you're at the right height uh, can make all the world a difference. And they're great to shoot off of, obviously. So be sure to check them out and I'll see you guys next time.